Tonight, sources tell Seven on Your Side a third insurance carrier is now limiting policies for new customers. The latest one, Farmers Insurance. We reported that State Farm Insurance stopped selling new homeowner policies in California on Saturday. Earlier yeah. today, another major carrier, Allstate Insurance, confirmed it ended new home policies in the state last year. Yeah, big changes here. Michael Finney is here with the latest on this, Michael. Okay, let's start with the good news. All three companies are still serving existing customers. And there are more than 100 insurance companies issuing new home policies in California. Now the bad. If you're looking for a homeowner's policy, you'll have to really shop around. And if you live in a fire-prone area, good luck. The threat of wildfires has grown every year, ripping through forests, scarring hillsides, destroying whole communities. Yeah, it's pretty bad. There's still flames up there. And amid the devastation, thousands of homeowners in disaster zones lost their coverage over the years. Insurance companies refused to renew more than 167 thousand homeowner policies last year alone. I don't know of anybody who's been able to get insurance. They just came back and said, you're done. Gee, I've been with them almost 40 years and here they are canceling my insurance. Then last week, State Farm Insurance, California's largest carrier, stopped issuing all new homeowner policies in the state, at least temporarily. The company cited a growing threat of natural disasters as well as rising construction costs and inflation. State Farm's announcement is definitely not helpful news. And now Allstate Insurance, the fourth largest carrier in California, just confirmed it stopped issuing new homeowner policies last year. Allstate also blamed wildfires and higher costs, saying, quote, the cost to insure new home customers in California is far higher than the price they would pay for policies. We have to keep it in perspective, and I'm encouraging consumers to uh, to, to stay calm. Consumer advocate Amy Box says more than 100 carriers still offer new homeowner policies, though they are growing more wary about risks in California. I talked to insurance executives. They're all worried about wildfires in the West. They don't take blind risks anymore because they can buy data and they can see the pine needles in your gutter. Insurance companies just can't decide to stop selling insurance to new customers. Harvey Rosenfield of Consumer Watchdog was skeptical about State Farm's motives for ending new home policies. They're trying to pressure the insurance commissioner to approve a $721 million uh, additional increase in people's homeowners insurance premiums. State Farm says, quote, we take seriously our responsibility to manage risk, and it's necessary to take these actions now to improve the company's financial strength. Now, sources tell me Farmers Insurance, the second largest carrier in the state, is limiting how many new customers it will take on, unwilling to assume more of the wildfire risks. It's already been hard for people to shop for insurance in these wildland urban interface areas. But Bach expects thousands more homeowners in fire-prone areas will have to resort to buying insurance through the state's FAIR program. It's very expensive and provides only bare-bones coverage. Double what we caught, what we paid before, and with less coverage. Our coverage is about three and a half times more. And it's going to get harder before it gets easier, I fear. Homeowners who can't find a company to insure them can buy a state-sponsored fair insurance policy, as I just pointed out. But those are expensive and don't cover as much. If you have trouble buying a new homeowner's policy, go to, <clears throat> pardon me, abc7news.com slash 7 on your side. There I have posted some resources to help you find a policy. And please, good luck work out. That is wow. tough. Yeah.